Well, hello guys. Now, I'm going to cover a few topics here because uh, Peroni's asked me to. Well, in a roundabout way. I would think that Femon start using makeup between 12 to 16, or even earlier probably. But usually by 16 or 17, they become habitual users, don't they? They wouldn't go out the door without it. On. Men, generally speaking, these Femons will wear that makeup now for the rest of their natural lives. Now, when they get older, some of them lessen it a bit. It's not so strong. But some of them don't, and they still wear it. And their eyebrows get further up their head. And their lipstick goes way out of the lines. And they look like a clown. You see, it's not only because it's supposed to enhance their looks. It's a mask. Now, quite a few years ago, and a lot of you younger men won't know about it, a few famines started using a certain foundation or something, that sort of was orange, as if they'd been tangled. Then as Femons are the hive mind, they all started kind of wearing it, and they all kind of had this orange tinge to them. Then they were completely unaware that most men were laughing at it, because it did make them look kind of, well, ridiculous. Well, that kind of died out, thank God, but now it's being replaced by dads. The few Femons do it, and then they all do it. It's very obsessive behaviour, isn't it? I mean, you're probably wondering, well, where in the hell is this video going? Well, I don't know. But myself, I really don't think it's a natural thing for a human being to wear a mask for nearly all of their lives. How can you really trust somebody that's hiding behind a mask? Boy, I know what you're going to say. Society expects it. Yet again, Femons will say they were pressured to do it. Poppycock. Femons can't wait to put makeup on. They practice it at six. I don't mind a little bit of makeup. No, not on me. I have done, of course. Only on Fridays, though. But the way they're piling it on today, what are they trying to hide? Guess I'll have to make another video. This one went on a bit too long. I think the next video is just as boring. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not. Uh, see you later. Ciao. Hello, Tony. I think we might use a video replay here. Super, Ralph. Let's do that. Oh, yes, we could be in for a quintessential tango to sensation here. Why, yes, Tony. Let's look again. Yes, Ralph. The big orange fellow ran in from the left. And he gives him a good old slapping. It just illustrates the bite and buzz oh, of real oranges in Tango. Yes, Ralph. Super taste sensation. Smashing drink. Lovely. You know where you've been tangoed.